My name is Baba Tando. Hello there. Good afternoon. Welcome to the sports segment on News Today. I have the latest uh, in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. And today we begin with Sierra Leone and their anti-corruption commission, the ACC, has raided the offices of the country's football association, that's the SLFA. Now, the move comes exactly seven days after the ACC sent a letter for the SLFA president, Aisha Johansson, to step down. The commission says under Sierra Leone, law, uh, under Sierra Leone laws, Johansson and his secretary general, Chris Kamara, must vacate their posts while they are being investigated. Now, both Johansson and Kamara have denied any wrongdoing. Now, staff at the SLFA offices have been warned not to do any business whatsoever with Johansson and Kamara and not to allow them into the secretariat. And this is coming from the Deputy Director of Public Education uh, and the Outreach Department at the ACC, Al Hassan Kagbo. Now, the staff, uh, they were actually warned not to speak not, the staff were allowed to continue their work, but the ACC warned them that anyone who goes against the others will face the law or be arrested. Kako also confirmed that later on Tuesday after the raid, Kamara handed over the necessary computer and passwords to Abdul Rahman Suare, who the ACC recognizes as the acting general secretary. Johansson acknowledged she had received ultimate, the ultimatum, but did not confirm whether she would step down or not. All right, so uh, away from Sierra Leone, let's come back to Ghana. And yesterday I brought you the story of um, Kumasi Asante Kotoko potentially signing former Accra Hard to Folk, former Dreams FC, former Ashanti Gold SC coach CK Akono uh, as their head coach after the resignation of uh, Pakwesi Faven about a week ago. Now let's go back onto the lines and speak, or let's get onto the lines uh, once again and speak to Delali Atiasi. He is with Love FM for an update on events so far in the Ashanti regional capital. Hi, Dela. Good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. Bye-bye. All right. So yesterday, uh, we were made to know that CK Akono stood as favorites among three candidates uh, who were vying to be Kotoko's uh, head coach. Now, tell me, what's the latest update? Well, um, I guess it's still the same. And uh, the number was narrowed down to two. Uh, they were deciding between management, were deciding between having Yusuf Abubakar, or that is um, uh, CK Akono. Now, I've been reliably informed by a management source that the um, majority of the management team uh, will want CK Akono uh, to take over, to take charge. They've been giving various reasons as to, you know, his recent um, tour in Europe to, you know, the um, uh, attachment to other big clubs in Europe as one of the reasons. And then also, we're also picking up information that um, um, the, uh, if you look at his background, his background as well, um, he's been on attachment to Man City and all that. And so that has in a way favored him, as well as the recent times, what he did with Ashanti Gold when last season they were almost getting bound, but he came over, saw them through to uh, maintain their status in the Premier League and how they started season before the unfortunate abrupt end of the competition. And so he is in the lead, I'm told, that um, has been given um, a part of the contract to go through and they are still you know, negotiating between the two parties to find out, um, you know, the nitty-gritty of the contract and all that. And so by the end of the month, that's what the, uh, the club is saying, that they will make an official announcement about an appointment at the end of this month. It could be just before the end of the month or on the stroke of the end of, uh, at the end of the month. But for sure, you know, CK was even in town last Sunday, and I hear that he had a meeting with Dr. Kwame Che, and so he's now in the lead. And um, for uh, without, uh, with, um, without mentioning words, his last-minute pitches, it should be the one who will take charge of Kotoko um, after, I mean, uh, after the departure of Pakwe Sifeben. Okay, now, Dela, um, I know that Pakwe Sifeben left his job five months ahead of schedule, um, which means that definitely there will be some financial um, financial problems. Uh, either he has to pay Kotoko some amount of money or some sort well, of settlement. What, well, what are the two parties saying now? Well, um, indeed, um, according to the contract that Kotoko uh, signed with Pakwe Sefebi, and if he decided to um, um, leave the job, he was supposed to have paid um, his monthly salary of the accrued month or the month left uh, before his departure. And so in this case, it was five months. But um, uh, the management met last Sunday, and then after that, on Monday evening, they released a statement saying that 
um, they are passing ways unconditionally. And so no strings attached. Um, there, there is no uh, monetary compensation from any part of the two parties, any of the two parties. And so Pastor Key is gone unconditionally, no comment of anything. And so that is how they ended it. But another, another, um, another source says that uh, Park Kwesi is claiming that his contract with Kotoko was supposed to have gone to the end of the season. And so he was not um, bound to pay any money for the mm. club. But mm. the question is, did the season at all end or it did not end? And so, well, from the club's point of view, they have started with some condition. So no strings attached, no money paid from any part. Okay, Dela, I'll let you go, but in about 10 seconds, tell me, are fans, uh, Kumasi Asante Kotok, fans happy about Tiki Akono? Well, um, it's difficult to tell. Mm. Uh, it's, dif it's difficult to tell now. Probably in the in the subsequent days or subsequent weeks when the official announcement is done or when everything is concrete that he's taking charge, maybe management will need to take time to come around, maybe on radio stations to, you know, sensitize the mm. clubs to the effect why they are appointing him as the new coach of the club. All right, uh, Delali Atiasi from Love FM, thanks so much for your time. And uh, you can check out more on the sports page of myjoyonline.com. I tweet at the handle at Barbatan. The same for Instagram. Don't forget that the Champions League action on your Super Hits Radio Joy 99.7 FM tonight with the sports team at 6.30 p.m. Check out more, like I said, on our website. Sports is done. Good afternoon.